Lisa. That's L I S A. Lisa. <laughs> and today I am continuing with my Advent calendar stories before Christmas. <laughs> and we are doing princess stories. Yay! And now we are going to do the 9th of December story. That's 9, 9th of December. Let's see what story we are going to get. Wow! <laughs> Can you help me find the number 9? Let's have a look. Where is it? Where is it? Whoa! Over there? No, no. Where is number 9? Oh, there it is! Number 9! <laughs> Let's get it out. And we will put that back for tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see what story we are going to have. Oh, and if you missed the story from yesterday, all you have to do is go onto my channel and click subscribe. That's a big red button underneath this video. And you will find the story from the previous day. Now, what is this story? An amazing team? Wow, have a look over here. Wow, this sounds really nice. Well, let's find out what it is about. Aurora loved being a princess, but after spending so many years in a quiet cottage, it was often a bit overwhelming. Have a look, here is Aurora. So of course she's a princess now, and she has so many jobs to do as a princess. So I can understand why she might find it overwhelming. It is like having a lot, a lot, a lot, and a lot of homework every single day. One day, Aurora was embellishing a flag for the upcoming joust. The whole kingdom gathered at this exciting event to watch knights compete on horseback. But Aurora noticed Samson, Philip's horse, was refusing to follow the stable hand into his stall. We'll have a look here. Here is Aurora noticing that Samson, Prince Philip's horse, is refusing to follow the stable hand. Here's the stable hand into the stall. So this is the person who's looking after the horse. Hmm, I wonder why. Let's find out. The prince is traveling, so the horse won't get to compete in the joust. The stable hand said, It seems like we both could use some fresh air, Aurora said to Samson. I'd like to take you somewhere special. That's nice of Aurora. Have a look. Here is Aurora with Samson. Wow, Samson is such a beautiful big horse. Let's see where they go. But it was an awkward ride into town. Samson and Aurora had trouble finding a rhythm. Eventually, they reached the village. It was bustling with people. Just then, Aurora had an idea. What if we compete in the joust together? She whispered to Samson. Have a look. So here is Aurora and Samson riding through the bustling village. And here is Aurora whispering to Samson about competing together. Wow, do you think Samson is going to agree? Samson was overjoyed. He immediately raced to the field where he and Philip used to practice. You are amazing, Aurora said. Is this where I'm going to learn how to joust? Samson whined in reply. Wow, have a look. So here is Aurora Samson practicing. It looks like a lot of fun. Wow. Let's see what happens next. And it's not just boys who can be riders or take part in a joust. Girls can do that too. You can be anything. Don't forget. In this joust, Aurora would have to thread a series of rings onto her lance. Gallop down a straight way and disarm the knight pitted against her. Wow, that sounds like a lot of things that Aurora has to do. I wonder if she will be able to do it. Hmm. Well, if she believes in herself, makes a lot of practice, 
and eats well. <laughs> I think she will. Have a look at the pictures. Wow, here is Aurora practicing everything. Wow, that looks like a lot. Now, next page. On the night before the tournament, Aurora revealed her plan to her parents. Since Philip won't be present for the joust tomorrow, I'd like to compete in his place. After a brief silence, you're a new kind of princess, she said. It would be our honor to have you participate. Mm -hmm. Have a look. So here is Aurora with her parents. Wow, and her parents are so kind to her there. Next page. The sun rose early the next morning. The Downs people gathered around the jousting arena, excitedly waving flags and banners. Aurora and Samson took their place amongst the competitors. Their hearts raced as they surveyed the scene as they looked around. No matter what happens, Aurora whispered to Samson, we are a team. Mm -hmm. Now, have a look. So can you spot Aurora in the picture? Here she is, the beautiful Aurora, and she has a helmet with red feathers, and Samson has a red, beautiful coat. Mm -hmm. That's one of Lisa's favorite colors. Next page. All of a sudden, their names were announced. It was time to compete. Samson took off. Aurora lifted her lance and put it through all of the rings in their path. Aurora and Samson charged towards their opponent, the violent Sir Caspar from the kingdom of Blumenfeld. Wow, have a look. So here is Aurora lifting her lance and putting it through all the rings in her path. And then here is Aurora competing with Sir Caspar. Let's see who wins. Now Aurora needed to disarm Caspar. That means that she would need to take away his weapon. But their weapons kept getting locked. She had to try a different tactic. Aha! Aurora has to improvise. Now that's a long word. Improvise. Hee <laughs> hee. That means finding another way to get the job done. Hee <laughs> hee. And not giving up. While Aurora was thinking of a new plan, Sir Casper sent her lance flying through the air. With the new weapon gone, Aurora and Samson were defeated. Oh no! So Aurora and Samson lost to Sir Casper. Have a look, here's the picture. So while Aurora was thinking of a plan, Sir Casper took the opportunity and caught Aurora off guard. Now let's see what happens after that. At the end of the day, the winners were announced. Aurora and Samson ended up fourth. So they took fourth prize in fourth place. Not bad for our first tournament, Aurora said with a wink. <laughs> she and Samson made an amazing team. The end. Wow, so here is Aurora and she receives her fourth place badge and so does Samson and they are together. <laughs> now what a nice story that was and this was an amazing story about teamwork and wow how good is it of Aurora and Samson to still come in fourth place on their first go. Wow imagine if they keep on practicing and practicing and practicing they might come first one time. <laughs> Now, I hope you enjoyed this story and I have lots more stories coming up tomorrow. <laughs> now, don't forget to subscribe. That's the big red button underneath this video for more stories. And Lisa, that's L-I-S-A, Lisa, we'll see you very soon. <laughs>